station are setting tonight Boston Massachusetts looking at Boston they want to turn it around after the loss to the New York Knicks and that was a real body blow for them they got taken apart both offensively and defensively and if there's one aspect of the game that really stood out for me it was the rebounding basketball is about possessions and you saw a noticeable difference in terms of the effort both teams were putting forth. Sim the bucket, that's what you call a room service assist. And Kevin, you think about some of your toughest matchups. What later, man, I told y'all, man. I, I got a shack one time in the Cleveland series, and it was like holding up the side of a house. <laughs> that is a big drink of water. Listen, man, it? listen, <laughs> I have so many respect for all the centers yeah. that have guarded shack. You know, seriously, rest in peace to all the centers. I need it. Kevin, you think about the work that goes into being an elite player. Describe that. What did you try to accomplish? What are you going to do in these positions? You rest. Now, you obviously, as a person, you're living as a human being in everyday life. But, yeah, it's a lot of Oh! oh. Lady right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg. That is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or X down. The Magic trail by three. Anderson wide open, and again it's Orlando converting. Raja, he's covered by Grant. Can't hit from 12. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. You want this? Can you push through that pain right there? Are oh, you going to dive on the floor? You going to do the small things? You know, are you going to double down? Are you going to be in the spot we love? You do. And you need an appetite. You need 15 guys that's willing to push through anything at any moment that you want to. It's frustrating. Here's Wesley. They get it again. Oh, and here's the one-handed jam. Nation point on that dunk. Yes. Guys, that's the only way he knows how to do it. Soft. I don't even think it's in his vocabulary. That way to me, partner. I mean, his energy level is ramped up. I think he's been terrific right from the opening tip. And Wilkins gets sinking a lot of his shots. Here's Hardaway. It's good for a second mate. He's in a big city like Chicago, coming from a small place like South Carolina, it was a shock at first. Hmm. And what I mean by shock, I just know. That's to Shaw. Here's O'Neal. Shot clock at five. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Put on the bucket. Right side Turner over McDaniel. Again, the Magic score. In this first period, they've been aggressive and extremely focused. Yes, this is a big lead right now. A big one. And they've... Hardaway against Brown. And Hardaway gets it to go. Hardaway has got 10 points in the game. I like the recognition of the mismatch there. Immediately making the defense cut. This is it to McDaniel. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Scott. Count it in the Orlando lead. Has been cut down to just one. Wesley's checked in. Then for the Magic. O'Neal's checked in for Rollins. And it's Grant in for Turner. And the type of leader you are, Kevin. The idea of coaching must have crossed your mind at some time. Am I right or not? Oh, no. No, listen. Uh, I like the thing. Too much? Uh, you know what? You have to have a certain patience for coaching. Mm -hmm. I like that being out here, excellent in the nose, drawing up a play. That man, being a coach is a huge responsibility. And if they couldn't match your intensity, I'm sure the momentum he's building. Last game, he, he was just as dominant. Yeah, I concur. I mean, definitely on the roll right now. Seems like everything he's throwing up is going down. And, and guys, right now, the Celtics. Hardaway finds Anderson, looks for O'Neal, gets it to him, and the dunk by O'Neal. Ball's not loose. Stolen by Wilkins. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Whoa! Oh, like it did. On the wing, Scott. O'Neal trying to break free. Grant of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Pass to McDaniel. And the powerful one handed slam. Wesley. Here's Strong. 
and he banks in the lane. And then gets the basket. Anderson passes to O'Neal, and the dunk by O'Neal. Makes this simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points. Offensive. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive, and it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. For three, a three-pointer is right on target. Of the award. Humphreys the pass to McDaniel. Good for another bucket. He's starting to ramp it up now, getting involved in the offense here after being held without a point in the first. Nine for nine, looking deadly accurate. And KG, I know you've got to run, but as always, you've always got a home here. Thanks for stopping by. Please come back. Man, K Hallman, thank you. Thank you, K. He's left to play in the first half. Inside, Brown. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around and started hot and he's only gotten harder. Hardaway kicks to Scott. That drops and it comes off the assist from Hardaway. Austin. Kicks to Fox. From past the arc. Drills it from outside. In your eyes, what are the keys to great team defense to do that? Yeah, there are a couple of things, Kevin. One is communication. Attention to the detail of what you're trying to. In at the three, the small forward. And for the Celtics. A nice shot by Anderson. Raja, guarded by O'Neal. And Wilkins with the stop. O'Neal misses. Even with that miss, they're shooting 75% coming out of the break. That's a strong start to the half. Got it in the, in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. To the middle. And the dunk by O'Neal. No, off the mark, Orlando. Celtics trail by 14. And Wilkins gets it to go on the assist by one missing. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basket. Took him no time at all. He's not afraid to take it straight to the rack on the bigger defender. Right at it. Here's O'Neal and the dunk by O'Neal. Packing that rim. Raja guarded by O'Neal. And the shot goes down. Down for him so far. the way against Wesley beyond the arc and the Celtics hit again from deep great game I mean strong performances throughout and they've really been strong on the glass here's O'Neal and the dunk by O'Neal play passes to Grant Humphreys with the steal here's Rocha boom he jams it straight down the big step once he came up right with the steal he went straight on the attack that's it oh mm. Floor as it is now. No, I didn't see that evolution happening. I mean, again, at that time in the 80s, even into the 90s, you had the small forward and the power forward with more of an enforcer. There's the triple. Orlando getting another chance here. And they get it back again. I mean, how many rebounds offense? Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Outside Hardaway. The kick out to Scott. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. About 77% as a team. Magic leading by 17. And then Hardaway with the dunk. Oh, and how about squeezing the orange as tight as he could there before the stuff? Yeah, no way he's going to lose that thing on the way up. That is safe than sorry, right? Fouled from three-point range. With four seconds on the clock, and a little luck that time, but it drops. With one on the clock, and Dean Hardaway drops it in the basket. The movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And with the fourth quarter, it also stands out tonight is the number of assists they have. I mean, that's, um, that's a mark of a good club. Here's Wilkins, and Wilkins slams it in. Take advantage of the transition opportunity. Here's Hardaway. Again, the magic score. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Over to the left wing. And Fox gets it to go. Rip 
knocked away. Shots good by Wesley. Scott kicks to O'Neill. And he uses the glass on the layup. Just five on the clock. And he makes good on the layup. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Goes up again, and the layup is up and in. Only one man back on D. There's the lob to the hoop. And aggressive D squares up for mid-range. The defender right in his face. Yeah, I like the fact, Greg, that he crowded the shooter there, made him uncomfortable, got into his airspace a bit. Looked like he forced the shot. An offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Stolen by O'Neal. And they're running. Goes up. And then Hardaway with the dunk. Field really giving his team a boost. Well, Clark, some G League salaries on the rise due to two. When these guys get called up to the NBA, they've got to continue to be ready to produce and contribute because at the end of the day, it's about production if you're going to make your way into the NBA. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go. You could tell it was almost tunnel vision on that pass. Had no idea where the defender was. And the layup is good. Armstrong against Brown. Down low. Here's O'Neal. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. See you next time.